From teaching point of view, um, the girls are interested. They ask uh, really good questions, and they ask questions that slightly like catch you off guard, um, which is always interesting. <laughs> um, they are they're not necessarily afraid to ask um, either what might be perceived to be the straightforward question, but also the more challenging question. So if you think about that, or you think about that, and you're like, oh, that's really interesting. I wouldn't have thought about it like that. Sometimes they'll do that as well. They are bright. They are energetic. They are always asking questions, and I always get the sense that they're trying their very best in, in all areas, which is, is unique, and it's a pleasure to teach them. They are incredibly hardworking overall. Um, we are a mixed ability school, but whether you're teaching a high ability class or, um, uh, you know, go, for example, I teach girls, some girls in some year groups who don't enjoy math so much or, or don't find it comes to them as easily and um, they also they you know want to do really well and they're working hard um, the girls are as you would expect um, really inquisitive um, as, as, as girls are often want to be and, and, and I think because we teach in an all-girls school be, because we teach in a school that's fairly selective um, our girls are incredibly motivated by and large they really really want to do well so um, you usually have to calm them down rather than rev them up they're, they're very uh, sparky, very uh, opinionated. Uh, I like to have their view heard, but they, they desperately want to do well. And so if you start an activity, a discussion activity, they are the type of students that run with it and are, are starting to try and take new challenges on. Um, so the girls, they're interested, they work hard, they're motivated, and they're fun. They have a lot of fun in lessons, that's great. Fun's important. <laughs> getting kids who've gotten A's in all of their exams to choose just four A-levels is a great problem to have.